What is going on, everybody? It is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you on. Today, guys, we're going to talk about the entire cryptocurrency market and why I believe that there are some big, big, big institutions currently buying crypto and BlackRock getting excited about Bitcoin, some statements, and of course, the Bitcoin ETF that we are long awaiting. Now, remember, as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor, but rather, I always try to put you guys on the plays that I'm in. If you're on around here, consider smashing the like button down below and subscribing to the channel. Now, Bitcoin holding above 30K nicely over the last 24 hours, up 11.63% on the week. ETH up 8% at 1688. We're seeing some amazing momentum. Ripple, pretty much every single crypto, especially Solana, up 36% this week, are doing exceptionally well. Look at Chainlink, absolutely owning the top 20 cryptocurrencies and Shiba Inu up 2.85%. So, what in the world is going on and why is crypto flying? First and foremost, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink shares thoughts on Bitcoin and the bull run ahead. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink praises the Bitcoin network, citing pent up interest in, in crypto and a flight to quality as drivers, um, as drivers of the recent rally. Confidence in the SEC approval of the Bitcoin ETF is growing, reinforcing Bitcoin's quality and mainstream adoption as evidenced by increased stablecoin flows into Bitcoin. And TLDR for number three is the ongoing trial with Sam Bankman-Fried highlights the narrative that decentralized cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are more reliable and of higher quality, leading to a fight to safety, excuse me, flight to safety amid market turmoil and inflation concerns, as noted by different analysts. I've been talking about it. I've been talking about Kathy Wood. I've been talking about a lot of these different big institutional investors and firms that are buying into Bitcoin specifically. ETH is usually a second favorite and maybe some other big altcoins. But the major thing that people need to understand collectively is the bull case for crypto continues to grow. Because right now, when we look at the monetary policies in every single country of the world, and if we look at mainstream media and how things are portrayed, saying that, oh, everything's going to be fine, you know, finances are going to be okay. Fiat currency is going to continue to perform well. For the first time, I think we are going to be tested very, very soon. And I think decentralization works. It's just very hard to achieve. But as soon as this ETF is approved and we see official institutional investors buying in, right now it looks to me as if BlackRock is currently buying up different amounts of Bitcoin. Of course, none of this is going to be disclosed until the ETF is officially approved. But they could be buying from different wallets or anything of that nature. But understand that right now, the market is looking absolutely bullish. The fear and greed index for crypto market as a whole is at 55, heading towards more greed. And that's when we tend to see some significant volume increases. Pay attention to Bitcoin. 24-hour trade volume at $12 billion, up 10% day over day. Ethereum, up 40% day over day, $6.1 billion, exchanging the hands of traders. And remember, whatever happens to ETH, or excuse me, BTC, it usually happens to ETH. So after the ETH, um, ETF approval, of course, we saw a pretty strong downtrend and now a huge run-up in Ethereum's price action. Overall, ETH has been looking absolutely bullish, especially if you look at it from a one-year chart. It's actually looking very, very strong. So my bets, of course, have always been on Bitcoin and Ethereum. I do love other altcoins and cryptocurrencies, and I absolutely, positively, Love some meme coins, but I think, again, so as long as there's more liquidity coming in and volume continues to pick up, we're going to see a lot of inflow to other speculative assets and, of course, the meme coin market as well. Appreciate you guys so much. That's all I have for you with this quick update. And until next time, everybody, as always, keep investing. Peace.